With inflation affecting the prices of nearly everything at the grocery store, some folks in the Coastal Bend might need a little more help heading into the Thanksgiving holiday. Well, our Madeline Salinas spoke with the Coastal Bend Food Bank and joins me now live in studio to tell us how food insecurity affects the people needing help this holiday season. Maddie. Thanks, Brandon. Thanksgiving is typically a time for people to gather around the table with their families and share a meal. But for those that have a harder time affording what's necessary to bring that meal to life, the holiday can be a little bit more difficult. I spoke with executive director of the Coastal Bend Food Bank who says that seeing more people reach out this time of year isn't at all uncommon. Feeding America reports that over 4 million Texans are facing hunger. In the Coastal Bend, one in six people and one in five children face that very same issue. Executive Director for the Coastal Bend Food Bank, B. Hansen, says that the need for food assistance grows during the end of the year when holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas come around. The demand during the holidays is always higher. In previous years, especially during the pandemic, it was super high. It had gone down after the pandemic, but this year we're seeing a surge. Hansen says that with inflation, the food bank has noticed just how much of an impact the economy has had on the community. The first thing to go is food. If you, if you need to pay rent and you need to pay the electricity, and so you're going to cut back on the food that you buy. Hansen says that having the supplies needed to celebrate Thanksgiving can give families hope. For Annette Gano, a turkey giveaway in San Diego did just that. Sometimes we don't have enough money, and like right now, I'm, uh, I have my foster kids, my grandkids, and I'm so happy to get a Thanksgiving turkey. Gano says that people who do what they can for others this holiday season means more for those that can really use the help. Uh, it is very helpful for all the parents that are single and uh, the grandmothers that are in foster care helping uh, their grandkids and all the community, the old people that need help. And as always, Hansen wants to let anyone who might be struggling to make ends meet know that it is okay to ask for assistance. She says the food bank will always be there to help. If you'd like more information on their resources, we'll have a link to that along with this story at ktriplitv.com.